Okay, so I just got the Garmin ERA 660 in the mail, and this is the unboxing. It's an aviation GPS. It comes with the uh, mounts in here. This is the aviation yoke mount, and it just clips right into here. Like that. And then it has a quick release to take it out. It also comes with a uh, mini USB charger for home. The battery, it's a uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery, 3.7 volts DC, 2000 milliamp hours and 7.4 watt hours. I think that's the same one that comes in uh, the Garmin Verb, things like that. And then aviation database update. The quick start manual, a USB to mini USB transfer cable, and then it looks like an adapter for the uh, charger here. And it's got a push to release for traveling or to put a European charger. So, um, let's open this up. The dimensions on this are five and a half inches wide by 3.4 inches high, and then it's uh, 0.8 inches deep. So, pretty nice, brand new. Got a switch here. That must be for the battery. Way better than the uh, old era. The GPS map 296, 396, and 496. And then the era series, the 500s, the 510, uh, 550, 560. I think there's a 500 too. This uh, battery, this was super hard to uh, release. But this one looks pretty easy. And then there's just one power button up on top. I think you hold it yep, three seconds. So the screen size is 4.35 inches wide, 2.61 inches high. So that's a diagonal of 5.08, which is a little bit bigger than a, uh, that's a pretty bright screen, than a, uh, Road uh, five inch GPS. So here's the databases 2016, it's got them all uh, flight chart, safe taxi, US, Canada, Europe, fixed wing, and uh, worldwide terrain, AOPA chart directory, and US IFR and VFR charts. Uh, you got to have that IFR, otherwise you won't be able to get your approaches. I found that out on my 560. And then to download the database is $30 just for that database annually. Or you can pay $150 and get all the databases uh, renewed. So way better. This uh, capacitive touch is way better than the ERA 510s. So it's a touchscreen WVGA, and uh, it's got a white backlight on this. Um, this weighs 8.64 ounces, so it's about an ounce or two less than the ERA series of uh, 500s, 510, 550, 560, all those. And uh, it weighs about 245 grams without, with the battery. So uh, without the battery, it's only 205 grams. 
and battery lasts about four hours during most uh, daytime conditions and you can slave this or uh, pair it with the GTX 345 and um, use it that way. So you can also upload from your iPad through Connext. Let's see if it's on here. You can upload your, yeah, that's incredible. Too close there. But that screen is a lot brighter and from an angle here, it's much more clear than my uh, 500 series of arrows. Uh, the voltage range on this is 10 to 35 volts and it's IFR or VFR. It's not certified, but uh, it does have approaches so it helps you with situational awareness. And it's got the TIS, Traffic Information Services, and it takes an SD card, looks like right there, so you can put your music or whatever you want on there. It also has a GPS antenna and then your mini USB charging port and for data transfer when you upload your maps. Um, the voltage range, I'm not sure if I went through that, 10 to 35 volts and it's uh, WAS, which is Wide Area Augmentation Satellite and GLONASS. So it's high sensitivity with uh, WAS position accuracy. So I'm hoping to take this on a three-state trip tomorrow and see how it works. I always like to try it. Maybe I'll send a video of that compared to the 500 series of eras. So I'm excited. Pretty incredible.